This is the weather forecast video for Tuesday, June 21st, 2011. Let's take a look at the satellite image. From early this morning, you can see a complex of thunderstorms was located over Minnesota into Iowa and extending southward into Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, and North Texas. There was quite a bit of severe weather during the evening and overnight hours. Here's the watch morning map. From just before 2.30 in the morning, you can see a tornado watch was almost about to be canceled out over the state of Iowa. Numerous flood watches around the Plains states into Iowa and severe thunderstorm watch from Missouri southward. Here's the, the, the severe weather threat for today and tonight. A slight risk of severe weather extends from southeastern Minnesota, the eastern half of Iowa, southward into Missouri, Arkansas, southeastern Oklahoma and Texas, and eastward through all of Illinois, Indiana, almost all of Ohio, and into West Virginia, including the Ohio and Mississippi Valley. Here's the tornado threat for today and tonight. A small area of 5% risk over the Mississippi Valley from northeastern Iowa through east central Iowa down into west central Illinois and eastern and southern Missouri. Here's the damaging wind threat. The higher probabilities over the northeast and east central counties and also a small area of better chances of damaging wind over Arkansas, Oklahoma and into North Texas. And here's the damaging or the large hail threat for today and tonight. Better chances for large hail will be over the Arklatex down into the Dallas Metroplex. Here's the QPF chart. Precipitation over the next five days through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. This takes into account rain that fell last night. And you can see most of the heaviest rain will be north of the state where three inches is possible from South Dakota eastward into Wisconsin. Typically about one to two over the state. Here's the GFS model run at 1 p.m. today. You can see the upper level system is moving into the state with a trough of low pressure. And the Vort Max over the Missouri Valley. Surface low will be in northwestern Iowa. That will lead to the showers and thunderstorm threat being in the afternoon and into the early evening before it shifts into Wisconsin and Illinois. Wednesday, the low begins to weaken and fill over about La Crosse, Wisconsin, we'll see some showery weather and temperatures likely barely hitting 70 degrees. Thursday, chances will be a little bit better. We'll see highs back into at least the low 70s, maybe some upper 60s in the northeast where some more shower chances are possible. Friday will be the next mostly sunny day across the state with highs getting back toward average highs in the upper 70s to mid 80s. Saturday starting off the weekend you can see fairly clear there could be an isolated shower over the Missouri Valley otherwise the rest of this day will be mostly sunny. Sunday same story best chance of any isolated shower or storm will be over the Missouri Valley and into the Plain States Otherwise, it's going to be mostly sunny and highs in the 80s. Monday, chance of showers and storms increases with a little bit of a disturbance. So there could be some activity there. A week from today, you can see a ridge is forming over the south again and nosing in here. 594 ridge centered in southeastern Oklahoma. And with that, a lot of the Rain will be nowhere near that. It will be in the typical ring of fire over the northern plains and edging into Iowa. We head into voodoo country. Here's July the 2nd, the beginning of the long Independence Day weekend. You can see a ridge over the southern part of the country, the main storm track well up into Canada. With this, there could be a frontal system close by that could bring a shower or storm, but predicting rainfall this far in advance is tricky at best. And at the end of the forecast, July the 6th, there's the ridge back now moving close to the Four Corners area with a bit of a trough over the Great Lakes states. And with that, that could bring some cooler weather and maybe some more showers and storms in areas that really don't need any more rain at least right now thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video we'll have another one tomorrow